There were a lot of people that thought this division was over earlier in the summer when the de deficit was ten and a half. Yep. Nope. Nope. <laughs> they right. just can't. They, they can't be stopped. They are relentless. Well, you got you got to come through Braves country, right? And hats off to Brian Snicker, Alex Anthopoulos, the entire coaching staff, the players. I'm going to say something right here. They were 23 and 27, 10 and a half games back behind the Mets after a walk-off loss in Arizona, May 31st, and Snick called the team meeting. And it changed. Spencer Strider got moved to the rotation. Michael Harris, the second, turned into one of the best players in the game. And I told my son last night, you better enjoy this because you're getting a chance for the next, it looks like, decade to enjoy some of the best baseball that town has ever seen. Especially since the Falcons and Hawks ain't winning bleep. So what are you talking this about? Marcus Mariota doing this his is thing. It. Let's get into it right here. I love the three tiles. Let's go through their rotation because you can you can argue they're the favorite, right? I know the Dodgers 110 wins, but you're the defending champ. You want to be the best, you got to beat the best, Ric Flair style. Okay, let's get in. They're able to put a frontline ace in Max Fried on the mound for Game One, perfectly rested, hopefully feeling better after taking the mound against the Mets. A little upset tummy. He's been dominant. How about Charlie Morton getting a $20 million extension? He has pitched in more elimination games, big stage moments. There he is, 2017. He's been trying to retire for five. They years. won't let him, Robert, because he <laughs> can spin a baseball and has got nasty sink. And you think he wants a chance at redemption? He went on the mound last year in the World Series with a broken fibula. How about the emergence of Spencer Strider throwing off flat ground? Him and Michael Harris II basically are one of two of the biggest reasons that the Braves just went on this meteoric run. And then their four starter is 21 and 5. So they are set up rotation wise to just be dominant. OK, so now let's get into their lineup because it came in waves for this team. Let me see what they look like, their best lineup, when they throw it out there. We caught here? Let's go. Here we go. Ronald Acuna. Again, you talk about Charlie Morton. They were 50 and 51 last year. He blows out his knee in Miami. They go out and pick up four outfielders and win a World Series without him. That's on his mind. It would be on my mind if you cared a little bit. Dansby Swanson, Harris, Austin Riley. Let's get into it because Austin Riley, he's kind of limped down the stretch here, but he carried this team in the first half of the season. So let's dive into this. Like I said, this is this is, was a guy who has emerged as one of the best power hitters in the game, one of the best players in the game. 10 years, 212 million, signs the extension, walks into the first half of the season and almost hits 30 bombs for this team and kind of oh. covers up everybody kind of getting their feet wet. The Matt Olsen's getting adjusted to life without Freddie Freeman. Some of the young bloods coming back into the game. But Dansby Swanson has emerged as a star. And you kind of saw it. He was the first overall pick out of the draft. Alex Bregman went second, and everyone was like, hmm, how does that play out? How does it play out? The guy's a stone-cold killer. In big moments, he shows up. He doesn't say much. He's just super confident in his ability to rise to the occasion. I hate to say Derek Jeter because that's lofty. I'm not putting him up there. But Derek had that kind of demeanor the same with Dansby. Let everyone worry and be nervous about the big moment. I'm just going to go out and play the game I know since I was a little kid. And then Michael Harris doing everything. He's probably your NL Rookie of the Year. And then last night getting the first look at Snit. First sack bunt in 161 games. It's their only sack bunt they put down all year. And he did it to perfection. OK, so Michael Harris has been a monster for this team and reminds me of Marvin Hagler. He looks like a, a like a welterweight boxer when I see him. But Roflo talked about it. It's the bullpen weapons that Snick can roll out there. AJ Minter. I, there, there's too many of them for us to do B-roll on it and not be heavy in the A block here. Rossell Iglesias, they bring him over. And he has been unhittable, OK? One earned run in 26 and a third. And there was callings that, hey, Kenley might have lost it. Can we go into the postseason and let him close? 
Well, in the Mets series, he was absolutely dominant. Last night, he came out and was absolutely dominant. Throw in Colin McHugh, throw in Dylan Lee, Jesse Chavez. I mean, he could just bing, bing, bing and feel good about where he's going. So the defending champs, I could argue they might be a better team right this year going in. No, I think you can definitely make that argument, and it would, it would definitely be a fair one. So. No Ozzy Albies, though. That hurts the heart because I'd like to see him out there. Well, it's going to be a lot of fun.